Hi everyone, I'm Josh and welcome to Josh Wright Piano TV. Today we're going to do a video that's a little out of the ordinary, which is just a practice session. But unlike some other pianists on YouTube that I've seen post practice sessions, I want to kind of talk things through as I practice them and why I'm doing certain things and hopefully that can be informative for your practice. I'm getting ready for a concert in about eight days for <clears throat> a Chopin festival uh, down in El Paso, Texas, and uh, really looking forward to that. It will be on September 28th, and it um, uh, should be a pretty fun concert. It's at Chamisal, C-H-A-M-I-Z-A-L, if any of you are in the area and would like to attend. So before this video, I warmed up. I went through everything slowly. This is the second scherzo. This is my newest piece for the concert, and I just want to go through now after I've warmed up with maybe a slow playthrough of this, really exaggerating my dynamics, I want to go through and hit all the places that I didn't feel great about um, on my playthrough or things that have still been a little apprehensive for me. So the first one comes in bar, um, right around bar 700, 697. So I'm going to stop there. So I have three bars of this, and then I go to D flat major, A flat seven, and I go to this chord, which is a little trickier. It's a diminished chord. Again, D diminished. So diminished to the D diminished. Okay, so three of these, and then I go to... Noticing a pattern here. So, da -da -da -da. so I'm noticing that chromatic. And then it resolves there at the end. By the way, I'm going to make a whole pro practice video on this, taking you through how I do all these. Um, technical issues, but today I mostly want to talk about how I prepare for a concert um, when it's about a week out and if there's any um, apprehensive or things that are making me nervous uh, spots in these pieces. So let's see, I keep messing that up. Then I go to the diminished. And then what's this one? So so I have basically three sets of the diminished dissensions. And the last one breaks that pattern. So... slower. Try this right hand one time. I think I missed that. Let's try it slowly. Maybe eyes closed. Ending was sloppy. That's feeling good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back up a little. So I will go maybe. I 
just want to double check that. go up to that E flat. You'll notice that after you memorize things, at least this is what I noticed for myself, uh, especially with repetitious patterns in, in these left hands, it's so easy to ingrain versus something like that. Just a different inversion. It's so easy to get those mixed up. So I'm constantly checking my music. That's why I practice with my music right up until the day of my concert. Of course, I'm doing a lot of preparation work memorized, but uh, I'm also doing quite a heavy bit with uh, music because that I'm just always checking things to make sure. And let's try it from here again. one note and you probably couldn't didn't hear it because it's just an inversion I didn't go up to that E flat so I did two C's rather than E flat to C so I do want to do that just for integrity purposes go back and fix that That's a tricky little spot there. So let's see. Two of those to B flat. B flat. Let's just count those. One. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now memorized. One, two. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I noticed that it's um, in my previous practice sessions that it's really easy to sometimes leave one of those out because it's just changing so minor, uh, so so minuscule in such a minuscule way. So basically, I'm going to B flat minor. I go to the D natural, then I move up, E flat minor, and this is the one that I, yeah, I always question myself, wait, is there one more? Okay, now let's try this slowly. Okay, now what I'm going to focus on there, because I noticed when I was playing it, uh, the first time for you guys, j just barely, is a little sloppy, and that's because there was way too much tension in my hands when I was doing it. So, ah, that's not right. Okay, the ending fell apart. Don't like that. Maybe it's my fingering there. Uh, no. Take a little more time there. Yeah, it is weak fingering. I'm going to change to a three. Three. Like the way my hand is feeling on that so I'm gonna go really slowly and just try to get the natural shape of that okay it's still not working so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put artificially just a tiny bit of time towards the end there
sometimes feeling this natural shape of that chord because I keep missing that chord. And then, and then practice chord combinations. I recently did a video on that. it without breaking my microphone here. I don't know if I got all those. Good, the ending's fixed. Set fast enough. Yeah, I think I want four and then three. So I know I just told you guys I was gonna do three there, but I'm wondering if I, I was questioning, well, the reason I messed up that last one is because I was like, oh, maybe I need a three, and then I switched the fingering at the last second, so doing a four, and then going to a three. Ah. Keep going to that three there. One more time, just for good measure. take a little bit of time to be honest I remember at the Chopin competition I was like eh, screw it I'm just going for these and it worked out it's kind of a risk but one thing I don't like is what I just did is I went like really babying it giving it tons of time don't come in so early So what I would do there is I'd practice eyes closed. Gotta find that. Such a big jump. I haven't done this work yet. Just in the thumb. And then just in the pinky. By the way, you probably see me do that in a fairly short amount of time there. Um, I've done that, I've slaved over that my whole life doing this type of practice. This is one that comes to mind because I've done it like thousands of times. So I do like just thumb work. Sorry. I haven't done this one for a while, obviously. But just pinky work and then it will, that way I can, then eyes closed. feeling. I feel like the right hand's a little weak. 
Oh yeah, the end is weak, as you guys can see. So one thing that I'm doing is I'm preparing for that next chord before I actually finish, so I need to remind myself finish and then move quickly. concerned about is this section just making sure I'm playing the right notes because sometimes I'll play an inversion of a chord wrong maybe is that I usually don't give myself more than just a few tries before slowing things down if something's not working. Um, I think it's just a waste of time to keep trying it fast, 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 fast. So I'll always try to slow it down. And that's something I learned incorrectly is that fingering I always did. One, two, three, five. And that's a terrible stretch, three to five there. So... One thing I'm trying to do is one, two, three, one, two, five. Feels so much better. piano, uh, especially like maybe in the last three or four years, I've noticed that I can fix things a lot more quickly if I just observe how my hand is moving. So the reason I was missing that E flat, I think is because I was twisting too quickly. already nervous about is how many of these I've even written in my music one two three one two <laughs> um, so after this one let's okay 
So I'm gonna start counting these chords. One, two, three. Okay, and then two of those, and then one of these. Okay, that feels better, so um, mentally. So. clumping that a little bit. So this section, some of my left hand inversions I'm not always a little bit uncomfortable with. And it may have actually been this one that I was thinking of because the same B flat minor and this is G minor. So remembering G minor comes first, B flat minor comes second. Not that I think that you could really get into the B flat minor easily from here. <laughs> Like if you had a memory slip though, it's really nice to be able to go G minor. And I think I want to be quite huge here. I want to think about dynamics as I go through these notes as well. Maybe come down a little. Then come way down. Okay, now single note in the left hand. I always tend to do that. Single note, single note is what it needs to be. tended to go from there to there rather than that one. These are things that you probably wouldn't even notice, uh, but again, the integrity, are you actually gonna go through and get it right or does it sound good enough? Like, I always try to get perfect, um, even though my performances don't come off always perfect uh, or even, you know, ever. I think I always have something to work on, but. <laughs> Mostly just this single note on the C minor and then the first one on the A flat minor. Okay, let's try it. is so bad. There we go. Let's see. And this is an easy one to mess up. I always want to go to this one, which is the second one, so I got to stay on that B major.
questioning myself so much there. It's probably because I don't know this well enough. Let's see. So. Okay, so E. E. So if I go to D. but it's the E and harmonic. Okay, I think I got it. love is just this so that clarity is not good there we go I think I might just take time there I think it sounds better anyway was my Skype lesson, which is starting right now. So I am going to log off now. I hope some of the insights that I shared today uh, in this video can show you a little bit about my process. We hit three tough spots that I'm a little bit nervous about. And this is typical of a, a normal practice session, that much detail work. Um, and I mean, it's only been 28 minutes here. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys a glimpse into what it's like to practice somewhat close to a concert. As you can tell, the piece is in tempo, it's memorized, but I'm always checking things and things still make me nervous. And these places might still make me nervous on the day of the performance, but at least I'm putting in the work to get those to the highest level possible and to mitigate any of that um, risk of uh, messing things up. So let me know if you enjoyed today's video, if you'd like to see more of this type of video. I don't know if you guys want to see more of this type of video, so just comment down below or shoot me an email, josh at joshwrightpiano.com, and say, yes, please do more of those types of videos. Um, if you haven't had a chance to check out my free webinar, I go over 10 of my favorite practice tips in there, so I'd highly recommend to check that out. That'll just be linked in the description below, along with a couple of my paid courses and links to all the gear that I use uh, here in my studio and uh, to record myself. So if any of you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out anytime. See you next week.